Ladies and gentlemen, I am proud to announce the development of a brand new Starship Troopers mod. So today it's going to be a little bit of a teaser video. Um, it's something that I've never really seen before in Men of War Assault Squad 2. It's um, a diorama. Yes, there's not going to be any battle, but more just me talking over this freeze frame of a battle just to showcase what to expect in the upcoming Starship Troopers mod. So right here, we're on Clendathu, and look how beautiful this is. We have got landing ships. These are drop ships from the uh, Starship Troopers game, ported in by myself. I am working together with the ASV team, the ones that brought you the ASV Warhammer 40k mod, the ASV Starship Star Wars mod, the ASV um, Halo mod, and they're such a talented bunch of modders. And they have went ahead and created me some arachnid bugs. Look, we've got plenty more on the way. I just wanted to showcase you guys a battle that I've just been playing. Um, it's extremely laggy at this precise moment. It's um, a mission that's currently in development for the Starship Troopers mod. It's what I've been up to the last couple of days. So I thought instead of uh, leaving it another day without uploading, I'd, I'd show you guys some of what some of what I've been up to. So right here, anyway, we've got Clendathu. If you remember that scene from Starship Troopers where the dropships land, uh, the what it was is the story. Story was the Arachnids sent an asteroid over to earth and it hit Buenos Aires and destroyed their their city Rico's home so they decided to invade the arachnid planet of Kalendathu and that was a little bit of a mistake they underestimated the bugs they didn't realize they, that they have a brain bug um, at this point so they thought they were just stupid stupid bugs but uh, yeah so right here anyway we've got a squad which is clearly um, on the front line of these beautiful dropships. Look, look at all these lights. They look awesome. I do aim to get it so they can actually drop down from the sky and land troops. At the moment, they're just static vehicles with added lights and stuff that I've put on them. But uh, that is something on my list of things to do. And that's make them drop down and uh, drop some soldiers off. And also some Marauder mechs as well. I'm hoping to get the Marauder suit in there as well. So let me know. If you guys have anything you want to contribute to ideas for this mod and I will try and make it happen if, if they're good enough. So we do have dismemberment in this mod. Let's see if we can find it. If we look in the sky over here, look, the uh, arachnid bugs can be dismembered. That's a new feature. If you compare that to like my older Starship Troopers mod, that's like uh, 50 times better. So if you shoot them with a high caliber weapon, such as a 50 caliber rifle or a shotgun, you'll blow them into pieces, which is cool. And that's going to be the same for the units as well. We've got a couple of uh, troopers right here, mobile infantry, both a woman and a man running away. Clearly they're trying to get back to their line, which is over here where you've just got a handful of troopers holding them off. We've got different variants of skin as well. Uh, we have different variants of rifle, only two at the moment. We've got the Morita Mark II and the Morita Mark I, I believe. Uh, these guys are medics, by the way, if you see like a red thing on them. I'm going to make different colors of that. Maybe a bit like uh, Star Wars to try and show different rank within the uh, the game. So if we go further up here, a lot of these bugs at this precise moment are dead. They actually clutter up the battlefield and make it hard for the units to maneuver and move around. We've got a guy here clearly cut off and uh, he's just in the middle of this carnage. Look at it. It's beautiful. Over here we've got a dropship which has been taken out by the plasma bugs which is also on my list of things to do. So. If we go over this hill, when this mission is done, you are going to be seeing plasma bugs in the distance shooting plasma into the sky. I hope at some point, and um, that's not been created yet, but I do have also the tanker bug, which is going to be developed soon, and also the flyer bug, if you remember those ones that fly around and take people's heads off. They're going to be able, be able to run along the ground, and they're also going to be able to fly as well, so that's going to be interesting to see, a double mechanic right there. Um, so this looks super cool. Like, like I say, I've been playing this battle now for about 15 minutes and it was pretty awesome until it got to this point where it was just too lucky to really play, but it looked too cool to press the finish button. <laughs> so I thought instead of not getting a video out, let's just uh, record what we've already got right here. So we can see right here we've got a squad of men which have been cut off. Look, the blue lights that you see would be the, uh, the light that comes from the plasma which is going into the sky with a mix of the light which is coming from these ships. I mean, we can compare this scene right here to the scene from Starship Troopers. And I think it looks pretty cool. It looks exactly the same. This unit right here has been cut off and is probably about to die. Look, 
you can see that there is bugs left, right and centre, the warrior bugs. I've completely surrounded them and uh, this one is about to attack. This one has been grabbed, look. This poor girl. I'm hoping to add that in the future as well, maybe. It's not in there yet. I've actually manipulated the figure to look like it's in the bug's mouth, but it's not. Um, I've just made it look like that, but perhaps we could actually do that in the future. So ASV team, if you're watching this, that's something that I'm willing to uh, put on my list of things to do. This one has climbed on top of the bugs to try and hold them off. They're literally climbing on their bodies to try and stop them from getting up. Super cool. Another cool feature as well is if the bugs are downed, there is a percentage, a chance that they will get back up and start fighting, giving the element of having to double tap them to keep them down. Uh, look at this. Looks so nice. Let's see if we can zoom out a little bit. Uh, I think that's the furthest we can zoom out. This guy has been cut off altogether, look. He's just kind of looking into the distance, looking at this ship right here. There's even more ships over here as well, look. These will obviously be where the reinforcements are coming from. Uh, I can't wait for them to drop down and actually drop off soldiers and stuff. That's going to be super, super awesome to watch. And yeah, <laughs> look at this. Oh, and there is also two variants of the bug in the mod so far. Um, this mod has cost me uh, a lot of time so far to um, get to the point of where it is. So I do expect there to be a lot more time um, until it gets to a point where I, I want to release it. But I, I guarantee you there will be a point in in the future where I will release it and hopefully have multiplayer. I've been experimenting with some multiplayer lately and I'd love to make some co-op missions where maybe one person could control half of the mobile infantry and another person could control the other half. So that'd be really cool to watch. So these right here are the tiger bugs. The tiger bugs are basically the FD bigger versions of the arachnids and there are two versions of them I believe. There's uh, the spitter and there's the warrior. So. Uh, we, we can actually make a secondary version of these in the future and make them so they spit, I think they shoot plasma out of their mouth. Like I say, we've got the flyer coming, we've also got the tanker bug, if you remember the tanker bug, they're going to be awesome. Uh, they're going to spring out of the ground, I hope, and shoot like a lava type plasma flame out of their sort of head. And uh, yeah, that'd be super cool. So, that's pretty much all I've got for this video. I just wanted to show you what I've been up to. There's a poor downed dropship there. I think I've already shown that, but it looks awesome. I just couldn't press the finish button without showing you guys this. Um, and yeah, if you want to see more things like this in the future, like dioramas, I'd be happy to press like the uh, record button and just do what we're doing here, really, and just sort of take a virtual picture of um, a battle or something. It makes for some really good thumbnails. This is actually how I get my thumbnails for most of my videos. I tend to pause the video at good points like this and sort of manipulate it to make it look super cool. And yeah, look at that. The animations are epic as well, but I'm going to save them for a future video, so I'm going to keep some element of surprise. Oh, that poor girl, look. She's uh, stranded right there. I'm hoping that they hold the rifle in two different ways as well, maybe from the hip and up where they're holding it at the moment. I'm hoping that there's going to be multiple Maritas as well because these things have like a grenade launcher on them, they have a shotgun on them, and they have an automatic rifle. So three variants of that will be super cool. So anyway, I'm Mighty Map 123. I hope you enjoyed this little video. And yeah, I'm excited to showcase more in the future. I will see you all in the next one.